Hey, what's happening, guys? I thought we'd get away from the uh, cerebral stuff and take a look at something simple and fun. This is a uh, RGB LED strip, uh, remote-controlled one. And as you can see, we can control some different <clears throat> functions here. Nothing too much to it. Here, we'll bring the lights back in. And we'll take a look at what's involved here and how it works. So I'll power that off. And first we can take a look at the lights themselves. And let's zoom in down here and focus. So what you see is we have 12 volts coming in and a data line for blue, green, and red. So there's just the red LEDs lit. There's the green. There's the blue. And if I hit white, it just lights them all. We can control intensity. We can control basically everything. So if you look at this, and I'll turn this off again. All we've really got on each one of these is a resistor for each R, G, and B. LED. Okay? So let's pop this open and we can see what's inside and how it all works together. There shouldn't be anything terribly complicated in here. And it should give us a pretty nice little examination. Give me a second to pop this the rest of the way off. Okay. So we've got, obviously, a single-sided board. Whoa, how about focusing? You want to focus? Focus. Okay, that's pretty good, I guess. <laughs> Maybe, right? We're looking at the back side of the board. We have our power input here. Here we have our... Um, infrared controller input and you can see it is three lines and then we have our output cable where you can see a red a green a blue and a black and then when we flip this over it is just completely simple two ICs control the entire thing if we take a look at our ICs, and we'll start with this one here on the left, since it's the only one that's really labeled, we get ATMTC173, and underneath of it, 24C02N. And that, my friends, is an Atmel 2-wire serial EEPROM. So that is where the programming is hidden for all the blinkies and stuff that we have going on. Now, if we look through here and try and tweak this around in all kinds of different directions, we are never going to figure out what that controller is because they have quite simply obliterated it. So it's got to be some sort of a microcontroller, you know, the the 8-pin mystery chip that's in just about everything. Now, what I do find interesting about it is how they have stripped away the solder mask under there, and you can see the bare PC board underneath of it. Kind of interesting, I guess. If we look really closely at this, we can see our power coming in here. These are our two main power coming in. We've got a resistor here, and we've got a diode here. Then we also have, this is our infrared control in, red, green, and blue. So three lines coming in along with the power. They are going to the microcontroller. And then if we follow the lines out, well, I'm assuming they're the out since they're going to the EEPROM. If I turn this better so you guys can see it. We have two lines going over here to the EEPROM. And if we follow that over here, we have two lines coming out from the microcontroller. One going 
to that, which I believe is the ground plane. And the other one coming over here to what's hiding down in there? Oh, look at that. A couple of a couple of three transistors hidden down in there. So we have a total of one, two, five, six, seven components. So <laughs> it pays to look closely because there can be some things hidden. So we have transistors being used as a switch, so we don't overdrive the microcontroller or the EPROM with a current. Or as I'm playing over here, I'm, I'm seeing a shine on that. Can you guys see that? So it looks like that's pretty hard. So it's probably conformal coding, which is strange, but okay. YDX, uh, what does that say? A5858. That's the board. I got about, um, I think about 10 meters of this stuff. This was all, all sold as a kit. You know, take a look there. We can see the back side of it, how everything is wired together. Kind of interesting. I bought this as a kit. I was going to use it with the uh, aquarium, but it doesn't really do white. It just turns them all on at the same time. So that really didn't work out well for my plan. So I just had it sitting around playing with it here and there. It is kind of interesting. It's definitely hackable as well. Since this um, is just an infrared receiver right here, and then you've got your remote, you know, it's simply taken RGB inputs. You could easily program a Pi or an Arduino to output whatever these codes are in whatever order you want and create your own programming and bypass. Uh, whatever programming is stored in the EEPROM. There is a provision here for a switch, which you can see they did not include in the packaging. Runs off of a 12 volt wall wart. And I think I bought this for about $7 off of eBay. I mean, I'm not going to put a link to it. If you just put in a RGB LED, LED controllers, you know, you'll find a, a ton of these. This was simply the cheapest one. Sometimes it doesn't pay to get the cheapest one, but very efficient use of hardware, very simple, and hey, it does the job. So I just thought we'd take a look at that today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it. I'm out. Peace.